Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be learning how to draw the demand curve using nothing but the demand schedule. With that said, let's get into it. So in order to draw the demand curve, you need one of two things, either the demand equation or the demand schedule. In this particular video, we're going to be using the demand schedule. And in another video, we look at how to do the same thing, but with a demand equation instead. So the first thing we're going to need to graph precisely is some graph paper. Then, of course, we're going to start by drawing our axes and then labeling the axes price and quantity respectively. This will always be the case no matter what your demand will always be plotted on an axis that looks like this with price on the y axis and quantity on the x axis. Next, I need to actually put some values on the axes themselves. So at the origin, I'm going to put zero because the lowest quantity in my table is zero and the lowest price in my table is zero as well. Now I'm going to plot all of the quantities in my table on the actual graph, and then I'm going to do the same thing for price. So my quantities go up on a scale of 20 and my price goes up on a scale of five. Again, all of these numbers are simply taken from my demand schedule. Now I need to look at my demand schedule as a series of ordered pairs. For example, the first point in my demand schedule is 160 for quantity and $0 for price. And that's a point right here on my graph. The following point is a quantity of 140 and a price of $5. The following point is 120 and 10, 115, 80 and 20, 60 and 25, 40 and 30, 20 and 35, and then finally zero and 40. All of these order pairs are simply taken from my demand schedule and then plot it on this graph. So what you might notice is that these points seem pretty linear. And that makes sense because in this case, we have a linear demand curve. Now for the final and arguably the easiest step, I'm going to connect all of these lines and that's going to give me my demand curve. Obviously, I don't need to have it fully labeled so I can clean up the graph a bit and take all of those dashed lines out. And what I'll be left with is simply a demand curve with an intercept point at price equals 40 and quantity equals 160. All of the points from my demand schedule are on that demand curve. And since it's continuous, there are other points that are not on my demand schedule that are on the graph. Once again, in another video, we go over graphing the demand curve, but only using the demand equation instead of the demand schedule. Arguably, the demand schedule is a little bit easier because when you look at it, it's simply a series of ordered pairs, and then you plot those points and then connect them with a line. Stay tuned for that future video if that's something you're interested in. And if you found this video helpful, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know in the comments section what sort of economic topics you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.